Hiya, Martin here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you are all well and you've been managing to get some creative time in your workshops over the last few months. Since you last saw me towards the end of August in a live demonstration for the Virtual Craft Festival. As you can see behind me, a few things have changed here. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a little tour of exactly what has been going on and what you can expect over the next few months, um, live demonstration wise, and also with production videos too. Now, towards the end of August, Wood Turner teacher and demonstrator Les Thorne actually moved his workshop up here. And we've started a brand new business called thewoodturningshop.com but more about that in a minute. So we are now in what will be a teaching environment, a purely teaching environment. And I'm not gonna show you any more because it is a little bit untidy, shall we say. But just next door, we're gonna be opening a wood turning shop, um, an actual walk-in physical wood turning shop where visitors and customers can actually come, meet Les and I and ask about the products and stuff that we're selling. We've got a wood store going up out there and then at the end of the building over there we've converted the two rooms that weren't being used or rather we've converted the one room over there that was being used into two specifically different workshops but I'll show you both of those in a minute. So welcome along, let's take a look. And then just through the door from the teaching room, I walk into the retail space, or rather what will be the retail space for the woodturningshop.com. And in here, Les and I are going to be stocking all the products that we use on a very regular basis. It's a relatively small range at the moment, but of course, as the business grows, so will the range of products that we're able to stock. So people will be able to come, they'll be able to see, they'll be able to chat to me and Les about the products that we use, as well as make any purchases that they want want to. That large expanse of white just there is the protective film over the window that looks directly into my workshop and the Vicmark VL300 lathe. So people who, when they come to the wood turning shop, they can actually take a look in there, see what I'm up to on the lathe, and they can actually get a really nice close-up view of exactly what I'm doing. And if I get time and if I can, and if it's possible, I can actually demonstrate the products that they're looking to buy. So this big construction here is actually going to be a woodshed. As you can see, there's no roof on the, there's no roof on the woodshed just at the moment. But that will be going on in the next couple of days, and probably by the time you see this, um, the roof may already be partially on. But when it's on and everything's all sorted out properly, we'll have a really nice space in here that we can store all of our timber that we need and also the blanks that we're going to be selling through the wood turning shop. It's all, it's all been really hectic and things have really started to come together in the last, certainly in the last sort of two to three weeks. It's very exciting um, and I can't wait to get in here. So this is Les Thorne's workshop. It's a little bit bigger than mine, which is next door, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, Les is a production turner. So this is essentially the dirty workshop, as it were. And this is Les's um, rather large and extended one way two, four, three, six lathe. And he does all of his production work and stuff in here. And he's got all of his tools uh, that he needs all up on the walls with his storage up there in cupboards as well. And it's a really handy size workshop for him. And this is my workshop. This is my own personal creative space. Bit of a multimedia studio as well, and also the the, uh, the nerve center, as it were, for my own wood turning stuff, the wood turning shop, and of course, Hampshire Sheen. Uh, the last time you saw this was back on the live demonstration I did in August for the virtual the virtual creative festival that was hosted by Carl Jacobson and Jamie Page. Seems like ages and ages and ages ago. Well, it was ages and ages and ages ago. And all I could show you then was essentially an empty workspace with with the uh, with the Vic Mark lathe stuck <laughs> stuck in the background. But as you can see, it's all up together now. I've got all my tools and all my finishes and all of the products and stuff that I use scattered around all over the place under workbench cupboards and, and storage. So I've got places that I can put stuff to make sure that I try and keep as tidy as possible. Um, 
but many of you know I'm not exactly the tidiest person ever but at least I have <laughs> at least I have tidied up for this video today I've got the pro edge sat here as well so it's nice and handy for when I'm actually turning on the lathe and of course I've got my Perm permanent camera setup. Now I think there are six cameras on here at the moment. There's this one here that I can talk to everybody on. There's that one over there by the PC of course. One here that um, that looks over the top of the spindle. Another camera that looks from the uh, the tailstock and another one that looks looks right across the top of the tool rest now this is probably my favorite uh, my favorite camera angle there's another one that's looking straight over the top of the workbench here which means if I'm doing any pyrography or, or anything else like that or drawing some stuff um, I've got a really handy space just there with the camera just up there as well so you can see exactly what I'm doing and everything in here as you can see is uh, is permanent there's a permanent rig set up up there so when i need to do a video or do a live all i need to do is just come in turn on the pc bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt <laughs> i'm ready to go um the window as you saw uh, just a minute ago in the in the in the retail shop that behind there has got a protective cover on it just at the moment while they're building in there so when that all comes down I can see straight into the shop and of course anybody who's in the shop they can actually see what I'm turning um, on the lathe in here and I can give demonstrations on the products and stuff that, uh, that, they're, that they're interested in so that's really exciting. Um, now behind the lathe down here I've got the extraction both mine and Les's um, workshops are connected to the same big extractor that's out there somewhere and also I've got the airline coming in here as well which is connected to the uh, vacuum chuck system the whole fast vacuum chuck and of course got the airline too so I've designed it and I've thought about it as carefully as I possibly can all the chucks and stuff are just there that I need and the tools are all up there um, on a nice on a nice sort of racking system too so all in all I've, I've done quite a lot of thinking about it to make it um, as handy as possible for me to grab what I need um, but also compact enough that I can actually fit in this space now it's not an enormous space it's probably it's probably what I don't know um, about the same width as a single garage maybe a little bit narrower something like that but everything is in here I've got a radiator as well it's all properly insulated so this workshop is actually a lot warmer than the other one so back in what well, rather not back in the winter but in the winter when I've got some live stuff to do which I'm planning to do get back to um, in the next week or two um, I can actually get it nice and toasty in here and actually turn in a t-shirt which will be nice yeah so I haven't been sat back on my laurels since the end of August um, as you've seen we've been incredibly busy getting everything organized Les moved in the uh, the retail shop um, being built and the teaching room and the woodshed and of course I've been running Hampshire Sheen um, too but I have been doing some demonstrations for UK and US clubs and of course my own wood turning club which is wood turning 360 um, I've been uh, I've been looking after that club too which is a really fantastic place I'm loving being a part of wood turning 360 um, now talking about what's coming up I do have a couple of projects lined up for the next few weeks at least one of them is going to be um, a production video which is going to be a really handy um, a really handy project for those of you who turn recesses on your bottom on your bowl bottoms <coughs> excuse me uh, yeah really handy project for those of you who turn with recesses um, I'm probably going to be filming that maybe towards the end of this week which will be well tomorrow being the 30th of October or maybe early next week not 100% certain yet I'm still waiting for something to arrive in the post before I can do that and also I am planning on getting back to doing a few live demonstrations on my old Tuesday night time um, which will be good because it has been such a long time uh, but as you know I have been rather busy so I hope you forgive me for um, for disappearing from the live scene for a little while now um, was there anything else 
I don't think there was um, other than to say thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I hope you're all staying safe in this very weird world we're living in at the moment and you're getting some creative time in your workshops. Uh, if you are interested in taking a look um, or seeing what's going on with the wood turning shop you can follow Les and I um, on Facebook. Uh, just do a search on Facebook for the wood turning shop and the same on Instagram too. You can see all the stuff that's going on uh, around the place there. And of course, if you are interested in seeing what we're stocking and everything, you can check out the website at www.thewoodturningshop.com. And we'll hopefully be opening by the end of November, fingers crossed. No promises at the moment because obviously everything is still all up in the air, but we, we shall see. So I think that's it for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, I hope to see you all again. Well, I will see you again soon. Thanks. <laughs> I, I've kind of lost the knack of this presenting thing, so forgive me. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye for now.